listening to The Announcer's Table with Daryl and Ian. This podcast is presented by RingIcon.com, the social networking site for wrestlers, fans, promoters, and everything indie wrestling. Log on today and create your profile, and as always, enjoy the show. Welcome back to RingIcon.com presents the announcer's table. I'm Ian. I'm Daryl, and I'm ready to start an emolution. No. No? Can I tell you that? No. no. I, 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 I don't know. I was a fan. Go back about six months. You say I was doing an Emma dance back then. Yeah, and I had no clue what you were talking yeah, you're about. Like, you're like, what are you doing? But now that she's coming to main roster, and she's going to be a lot more known when we get the WWE Network. That's right. Speaking of WWE Network... Uh, well, by the time y'all see this, it's out. It had been out for a week. <coughs> I'm excited, because today... Me too. Well, one, we're both excited about WWE Network. And two, we want to talk to y'all about how the WWE Network can help you as far as promotion and training and gimmick. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the WWE Network is going to be one of the biggest and greatest tools for the indie promotions that's ever been launched. I mean, other than your individual training, you know what I mean, through the business, the WWE Network is just going to enhance that and make indie wrestling, it should make indie wrestling that much better. Oh, yeah, I agree, because now, one of my pet peeves is like when I encounter wrestlers and are like, oh, we don't watch wrestling, it's BS, da 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 da. Well, you know what? You're stupid. All right. Why would you not watch your craft? Why right. would you not watch what you're doing? And what your fan base is based on. Yeah. You're, the indie fans, I would say 98% of them are going to be WWE fans first. And yeah. then they're going to be indie fans. Now, there's, a, there's a few that are, you know, just indie fans. You know what I mean? But that is rare in, yeah. in the business. Now, I mean, obviously we're both. Right. We really enjoy both. But now it gives you a chance as a promoter, as a wrestler, to go back, review anything and everything that has ever been done that WWE currently owns. Uh, so you get just about all the Star Caves. I don't think you'll get all of them because they don't own the rights to NWA footage. Right. And Star Cage started with NWA, but all the WCW Star Caves you can get. So you can go back, like, if you like to base your style of wrestling off a particular wrestler, you can go back and research all their matches, all their history. And, oh, you know, it just clicked in my head. Talk about being able, right now in one place, if you want to get better at talking on a mic, cutting oh, a yeah. promo, anything. Look at all the greats you get to go back and watch. Yeah. If you're a manager and you want to step up your game and be that much better of a manager... Look at all the manager videos you get to go back and watch. Yeah, especially going back and watching early '90s and '80s managers. Oh, they're that's gonna, back when it was that. Yeah, their I mean, managers were where they were at. I mean, there's a few nowadays that are pretty good. I mean, Zeb Coulter, I mean, is one yeah, of but the. He's an old school right, wrestler. Right. So. But I mean, as of manager right now, I mean, he's about yeah. the only manager of a group that I mean is any good. So Zeb Coulter is about all, all you can watch right now. You know. Yeah. But you could go back and watch all the 80s stuff and all the early 90s stuff, and you'll see managers that know what they're doing, and that's how a manager should be now. Exactly. So. Like You can go back and watch uh, Paul Heyman back when he was Paul E. Dangerously uh, and walked around with the, the Zach Boris cell phone and, and all that. I mean, he cut yeah. great promos. Kevin Sullivan back in the day cut great promos. I mean, Bobby Heenan. Oh, man, just Mr. Food. I could go on like all day. I'm oh, like... Yeah. I'm so in heaven with the WWE Network coming out because I get to go back and relive a lot of stuff and just watch stuff that I forgot about or things I didn't get a chance to watch the first time around. But this is for wrestling, for independent wrestling. Y'all's wrestlers and promoters and just fans of wrestling need to look at this as the biggest step in independent wrestling in, in the history of of wrestling, I would think. Yeah, I mean, well, let, let's talk about, uh, let's direct our, our energy towards Promotion Builder right now. Okay. Okay, so 
uh, because this this week we're starting something new where we're doing promotion and gimmick builder together in one video. Yeah. Let's focus on promotion builder for just a moment and say what does the WWE Network mean to a promotion? All right, well, in, in my opinion, what it means to a promotion is you can go back and see that things uh, like storylines, uh, gimmicks, stuff like that that have really worked. Right. Okay, that people haven't seen in a while and kind of implement them and maybe get your show a pop. Right. All right, you can go back and see gimmicks and things that didn't work right. and steer way clear of that. Uh, I mean, to me, that's, that's one way. What do you think? Yeah, I think the other way is this is the greatest um, training seminar that could ever happen for the independent scene. Oh, I yeah. mean, uh, as a promotion, you can sit down and say, okay, instead of watching all your old videos, which, you know, we've done in the past, or going to YouTube and studying, you know, now as a promotion, we have the WWE Network that you can go back and watch all the pro stuff. You know what I mean? So as I, in your in your training seminars and training ses sessions, you can have your guys really study the, the older stuff. Yeah. And, and, and listen how to how to cut it, what kind of cadence to use when you're when you're talking stuff and doing things. Uh, what else do you think for a promotion builder? Um, I mean, promotion builder, the other things are, you know, look at the evolution of uh, entertainment mm -hmm. in, in the industry. I mean, you'll go back and watch some of the 80s stuff. There was a lot of uh, showboating and things like that. But it, it was it's... Very car in the 80s, it's very cartoony-like, very right. larger than life. Right. And so now they're switching over to the entertainment side, the movie side of it, you know. So then it's, it's they only want you to see, you know, like a director, they only want you to see what is presented to you, you know. And that's how a lot of the fans see it now as as a entertainment aspect is they only see what what is out there so i mean that's one thing but also the other thing is the entrance ways the music the i mean all the the flashiness of it and the ring presentation you know those are things that you can see through the the generations of you know and and you can build upon that oh, you, absolutely. I mean, so you can go back and look at some of the the early 2000s late 90s uh pay-per-views and you'll see the entrance ways that independent shows could put on, could build you know yep. you can build the entrance ways that a lot of the wwe well, I, well, um, I like, when we did when we built that uh, entrance way for right. the promotion we was at we had the fog machine the curtain a ramp right. i mean you know we really tried to get into it painted it up real cool looking had a flashing light just kind of to give it something that most independent shows don't have so you can go back and look as a promoter and get ideas of like you know what, I can step this up, or I can do it this way, or, you know, let's try it this way. I, I, I yeah. just think it's a great tool. Yeah. Great tool. Oh, yeah. All right, let, uh, I, I want to talk about some gimmick stuff with Yeah, you. definitely. Let's switch over uh, to gimmick. With, with gimmick stuff, you couldn't be a wrestler at a better time than right now, <laughs> as far as <laughs> learning true. something. I mean, you the, the WWE Network is going to take your craft, or should, should if you utilize it take your craft to a whole nother level because honestly why do you get into wrestling because you love it you want to do it so why not want to be the best all right you know what no you you might not have a chance to go to tna or well you might have a chance to go to tna might not have a chance to go to <laughs> wwe okay which is fine right all right but you should want to be the best because let me tell you what's going to happen if, if you're dominating a show and you're the best and people are coming to see you other promotions are going to hear about this, all right? Because fans travel around, wrestlers travel around, all right? And if you're good and you bust your butt, then you'll be able to get more work, you yeah. know? So the more you step up your game, the more you learn, the more work that can come your way. And the better the show will be. You'll help be helping build up the show. You can, like, see old moves from the past that don't get used now. You can learn from old moves in the past. Like, I remember back when... You know, the DDT was a finishing move. That was it. But now it's not. Right. You know, I remember... Now the Tornado DDT is not even a finisher. Yeah, so, there's so many yeah. things that were finishing moves back then right. that just are standard. just regular moves now. Right. You know, so just to see the evolution of that and just to go back and watch how whoever your favorite wrestler is... Because most people will try and 
if they have that same style, will try and build their gimmick around their favorite wrestler, which is fine. But now you really get a chance to go back and study him all in one place and not try to find obscure videos on YouTube and Google and right. everything else. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I completely agree. That's I'm as a gimmick, as a as a wrestler, uh, it, it there is nothing better than going back and watching. Uh, especially ECW, some of their, uh, I mean, you get all the ECW pay-per-views, so, you know, you get some amazing wrestling oh, aspects. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, watching Chris Jericho and Rey Mysterio and all of them grow up through WCW and ECW. I mean, Rey Mysterio had his first match in ECW. And ECW. And, and Paul Heyman brought over the first Luchadors yeah. before the Luchador explosion happened. Paul Heyman had them in ECW. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, wrestling-wise, there's nothing better than the WWE Network. I mean, obviously, you gotta, you got to learn to do it the right way and not just try to imitate. Yeah. I mean, you, you got to, I, I, you, you become, I don't know, I, I don't really want to say it, but uh, you, when you just try to imitate moves and you don't learn them properly, you know, uh, that's one thing you should be concerned about. You know, don't just say, "Hey, I saw this. Let me try it on you." You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you need to step through it. You need to learn it the proper way. I mean, that's where you're going to take what you see in the WWE Network and take it to your training, and you know, get trained the right way uh, to do things. Yeah. So. I'm just all in all, I'm excited. Y'all should be more excited than where you are because I, it's just if y'all don't utilize this tool. Then you shouldn't be wrestling. Yeah. Then that because that tells me if you, if you're not going to utilize this, then you have no passion for it. Right. You have no desire to. Yeah. Improve. And all and all you want to do is, you know, is just wrestle and you know which is okay. Uh, I disagree. It's not I, okay. You, I mean, either you, you, if you're going to do something, do it and right. be better at it because you want to be in it and you love yeah. it. And you want to be the best. Don't just do it to do it because you know what you're just ruining it. Yeah, no, I I agree. I, I mean, mean, if if you just want to wrestle, then just train and practice with the guys, you know, and don't put on shows. Don't go yeah. show, don't do shows. Just get in a gym and 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 work yeah. the ring. Yeah, because I mean but, that's, that's selfish and right. independent wrestling shouldn't be about self selfishness. It should yeah. be about building up the sport that we love, that hopefully y'all love, and just want to just take it to that whole another level because. I mean, I see, I, we go to so, a, a bunch of shows, and, and there's some that we see where, like, man, if they would just listen to some ideas and just take away stuff that we've talked about or try something a little different, they would blow up. Right. And there are some shows we go to where we're like, wow, They're why doing can't other <laughs> shows be doing this? <laughs> yeah. You know, because they really understand, and it's not that they, they don't go in and just try and do this. You know, they want to go in and do this. And you know what? And sometimes they have that little because they tried something that didn't work. But you know what? They don't let it discourage them and they just try something else and build it back up. They're yeah. not afraid of change. Yeah. You know, and you got to constantly be changing with the landscape and with the fans and with what's going on. That's why it's important to watch what you do and right. watch storylines in, in the pros, you know, so you can. Right. Because people are want to come to independent shows because they happen everywhere, every weekend, Friday, Saturday nights. It's cheap entertainment, family entertainment, fun entertainment. And if you're mimicking something that WWE's doing and it's really working, then you're going to get them interested in that. Right. Because they'll be face-to-face -face and able to see it live. So, I mean, use it, use it, use it. I mean, that's all I can say. Yeah, and that's that's what I would want to end on is that you're, the whole reason you're doing it is hopefully for the fans. And the fans are not just fans of you. They're fans of wrestling in general, so you need to know what's going on. I mean, I'm not saying you have to watch everything that the WWE Network has or everything that uh, is going on live. You know, I don't expect you to watch every pay-per-view or whatnot, but um, or every Raw, but maybe you watch every pay-per-view just to understand where the, the storylines are going. Yeah, so and then how you to can, end a storyline, right. how to begin a storyline. Right. I mean, all this stuff's important. So... I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, this week is just, you know, um, I, WWE Network is nine ninety nine a month with a six-month commitment, so you're going to be paying 60 bucks up front. But you're going to be paying for WrestleMania anyways. Right. So, I mean, 
which you should be watching because it's the Super Bowl. Level. Yeah, it's the it's the granddaddy of them all, it's the <laughs> biggest and the best. Right, and you know, and oh, all the fans and, are. Gonna... And Hulk Hogan's going to be there for all y'all Hulkamaniacs. Yes, uh, but um, yeah, I I would say check it out. I I think you can get a week for free. Um, yeah. I don't know how that works. If I you think just... you just sign up, you can sign up for a free week trial. Right, and then uh, at the end of that free week trial, I believe if you do not. Cancel, cancel they will bill charged. you or they will debit your card for 60 bucks right so um so go check it out um and then you know let us know what you think if it's helping you or if it was just a waste of money but i really doubt that would happen yeah so all right that's yeah that's it. pretty much it for promotions slash gimmick builder yep so we'll see all right, you we'll see y'all next, next week, week.